Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of the day for the 1st of June 2016. Now, yesterday I mentioned change, uh, change and change coming out of the blue as well. Today, the card that we have um, sort of verifies that in a way. We have the chariot. Now, the chariot, I always see the chariot as it's about a journey. And this journey is both inner and outer, you know. It does talk about change, though, um, and the need for security and how we we battle with this. You know, um, when we you know when we we get comfortable and we get comfortable within life, and comfortable is fine, but nothing nothing grows with comfort. We get complacent and we stay where we are comfortable. But does this mean that we we are truly happy? Um, this card comes with a lot of contradictions with it. Like I say, we've got the comfort, but then we want the freedom. So it, this is about being torn in two different directions, you know. So this card, it, it also speaks of, like, its determination, you know, it, its victory, and it's taken control as well. But it talks of this battle within ourselves. So like I say, we have the need for comfort, but we also want the freedom. Um, you know, it's, if we have a look, we have the, the black and the yellow swan, the black and the yellow, the black and the white swan there. You know, this is sort of the yin yang, you know, it's like, yeah, we want to move forward and we all have the ability to do this and to go in search of our, our happiness. But it's, what is it that actually keeps us from doing this? What is it that, that sort of holds us back? Now, <clears throat> I've had these cards for years, but Lately, when I'm actually reading them, I'm seeing a lot of things that I've never noticed before in them. If we have a look at this card, we have the figure here and she's on what, what it, it's meant to be a chariot, but it actually, actually looks more like a plinth. She's holding on to this staff for security. But what I noticed today when I looked, I don't know if you can see that close up, the point, the bottom of the staff is actually a point. It's more like an arrowhead than the bottom of a staff. So she's holding on to that, thinking that she's secure and that she has that for security to steady it. If she puts any weight on that, what's going to happen? That point is just going to slip off. That is concrete, you know? It looks like concrete. That, that spearhead is not going to pierce through the concrete. So the illusion that she has of security is just that. It's an illusion. The second she goes to call on that security, it will just slip away. Um, quite strange because there's a situation going on in my life at the moment, which this is actually fitting <laughs> uh, quite a bit. So like I say, there's a bit of a message in here for me today. You know, I'll, I'll have to wait and see what else is said. So, yes, yeah, so she's she's un in. It, it's a false sense of security here. Now, what she needs to do is she needs to have unwavering faith, you know, and determination that she will get where she wants to go, you know. Um, if we have a look, she's there by herself and there's a town in the background. And what I'm really getting from this is it's time to leave this town, you know. Now, I don't know if that is sort of a metaphor for something or it talks about physical movement, you know, because I really feel within this card, it's like it's like something is over, you know, something has, the bubble has burst, the security she thought she had is no longer there, uh, whether it was there in the first place either, you know, it might not have been, but like I say, the illusion of it was, and it's time to actually um, sort of make a move, take control of the reins and actually move forward, you know, Um. A lot of times as well, when we live a so-called spiritual life, we people expect us not to have fear. You know, that's supposed to be an emotion that comes from our ego and we let it go. And a lot of times we can control our fears, but they're still there, you know. And what we need to do is we need to acknowledge this. You know, what is it we were, we are scared of? And to sit back and I really like, if this is you, if this is your situation, sit back and think, what... What is scaring you about moving forward? What is scaring you about leaving certain things or certain people behind? 
as well because often this is what can keep us trapped you know if we realize that we are all i mean yes we are all connected you know we we are oh i'm not i'm not um i'm not saying anything to the contrary on that but when we also realize that we are also always alone as well i think this is what it doesn't take the fear away but it's it allows us to live more fearlessly if if that makes sense you know this is about taking your goal and actually going going after it it's achievable you can get to where you want to be um you know but it's like it's deciding where that is you know and it's deciding to take that first step out of your comfort zone as well so this card is all about taking back control you taking hold of the reins and steering yourself in the direction that you want to go in as well you know um it's not easy it, it it's not you know but i think the first thing that we need to do here is to get clear exactly on what it is that you want you know once you get clear on that you may have to even do a little bit work on yourself as well first you know because there seems to be quite a bit of struggle going on and like i say i feel this is internally and externally as well you know so it's it's like you're being pulled in two directions here and what is happening what is the result of that is that you aren't moving you know so when i'm talking about change coming in it's like change is needed but you are the one that can implement change you are the one that can actually set the ball rolling so to speak you know so this is about making a decision you know like i say look at both sides but go down the middle you know this is about what you want and about going going in the direction of that as well you know you've got to like dig your heels in here you know um like i say that there's going to be a few bumps on the road if we think i mean the chariot if we think of old fashioned chariots they had wooden wheels and you know it wasn't easy it wasn't a pleasant ride but it got you to where you wanted to be you know so please don't give up on your dreams this is what i'm wanting to say um i want you to be brave at the moment that's that's what's coming in here and it's like you're going into unknown territory as well um but you know i want you to remember that you are in control with this you know and it's just steering yourself in the right direction of your choosing as well and also like keeping your eye on the horizon and don't be don't look back don't look back at this town this town has served its its purpose you've outgrown it you know uh, whether that is a physical town you know whatever you have outgrown that and it's time now to to actually move on you know so if you start looking back all this will do is sway you off course you know and you know well you know or you if you sit and think about it you will see the desired direction that you actually want to go in you know a lot of times as well i mean like i say this is about a journey this is about traveling and a lot of times when we travel we take too much luggage with us you know too much luggage too much baggage I remember I went backpacking uh Asia a few year ago and I took so much in my backpack that it weighed me down and I had to actually send send things back and I paid a lot of money to do that and I I I didn't need what I took with it so only take what you need here and I really feel that this is sort of this is sort of people this is experiences this is situations as well those that are no longer serving you leave them behind dump them at the roadside as well you know because otherwise they are going to weigh you down you know you can't carry other people's stuff you can't carry nostalgia you know you can't carry problems burdens stuff like that you can't carry them through life you need to just dump them and actually like cut back on what it is you are carrying cut back on what you feel tied to as well um I'm getting here like cutting ties you know and that will that will free you in some way as well so it's like this is about simplifying your life I feel and a lot of times you know we get a lot of problems that are linked to other people or their situations or whatever and we carry them as our own when really they're not ours to carry so it's it's time to time to leave them by the roadside here you know um is a great book uh on the road by uh Jack Rack and I I love that you know 
and one of the quotes within that is, um, I was surprised as always how easy the act of leaving was and how good it felt. The road, the world was suddenly rich with possibility. And that's it. Once you decide to do this, once you decide to move away from what is not serving you, what is once you decide to move away from this illusion of security that isn't really there, you will realize that you are freer, you know? So this is a time for you to actually get in the driving seat of your your life and don't take any passengers. You know, we, we've all heard of backseat drivers, you know, somebody who'll sit in the back and tell us that we're doing this wrong, you know, that we need to be taking that turn rather than that turn, you know, and stuff like that. It puts us off. It, it, it You know, it gets us anxious. We don't like it. So if you're not taking any passengers along with you, you're not going to get the risk of backseat drivers. You know, you're going to be on your on your journey, on your road trip, and you're going where you want to go. You're not having to stop off because somebody needs the toilet or somebody wants to go here and see that. You are on your own, and that is a good thing, and that is where you will get to your destination quicker as well. So, it's quite a complex card today. Like I say, it's full of contradictions. It's really a sort of, you know, I feel like I'm I'm sort of hopping from, from foot to foot here and I don't know which direction that I want to go in. So I'm being pulled this way, pulled that way. And what I need to do is just rein them in and actually go forward, you know, and me or you, sorry, I'm using, I'm using my, myself in that is you know decide where it is we want to go and then head off and not let anybody stop us um yesterday i very sadly heard that uh a girl i know who was basically the same age as me uh she passed away yesterday she has a young daughter the same age as my daughter and it really affected me um firstly for a life that was lost a young life that was lost secondly for the young girl to be left without a mother at such a young age and thirdly because I realized that you know what life is so short and there's when I talked about comfort before I realized that I have allowed myself to get into my comfort zone you know I have allowed that I've sort of had this false sense of security and I've allowed myself to stay in that and not move forward and a lot of the hopes and dreams that I had you know um they've sort of they've, they've gone out of the forefront of my mind for a bit so it was it was a big wake up call. I think something like that often does this. And what you need to realize is that you have one life. You know, you, you do. We have one life. The, our clock can stop ticking at any second. So it's make the most of what you want. You know, make that decision, act on it. It might not be the right decision, but at least you've tried it. You know, um, to live with regrets is bad, but to live with regrets of things that you haven't done is is so much worse you know that, 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 that's a very sad state to be in so it's like take life by the reins here get in the driving seat and actually go set off on your journey of where you want to go you know and you will find this freedom and you will find the happiness that you're seeking don't look for it in external things because I feel like this Rod you know the second you try to use that it will disappear and it was never really there in in the first place you know so the strength comes from within here the power comes from yourself once you take it back and that is when you can start on your journey and you know that you will get through it because you have nobody else to rely on but yourself okay so bit of a deep one there sorry about that I wasn't expecting that this morning but you know it's the message is there and that's what we needed to hear today. So if anybody would like a reading with myself, please get in touch on either my Facebook page, which is Love Buddha Tarot Readings. There's a book now button on there, which takes you straight to PayPal or email me at lovebuddhatarot at aol.co.uk. I do phone, Skype, Facebook chat, whichever way you want to connect with me, you know, I'm, I'm able to sort that out for you. Um, and yeah, like I say, if you like these cards, please, please share them. You know, that's, that's always good. People are, and it's really nice to see that. So thank you. I really do appreciate that. And today I think is going to be a day of thinking, you know, don't expect rest today. I think, you know, the old cogs are going to start whirring 
quite a lot here, but I do feel that there's going to be some clarity and some some insight given as well today, you know, so be on the lookout for that. So I hope you enjoyed that card and I'll be back tomorrow with the card of the day. Satnam.